us to another episode on ASUG12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at section B of the August 2022 Science Paper 2, which is basically the standard O-level chemistry. In the previous episode, we looked at question B7. Let us now look at question B8. The four hydrocarbons given are members of homologous series. So we have a CH4, C4, H10, C6, H14, C10, H22. Explain the term hydrocarbon. So basically when you are talking about uh, hydrocarbons, we are talking about uh, organic compounds that contain hydrogen and carbon on it. So these are compounds that contain basically just hydrogen and carbon. So now in this case it's a singular hydrocarbon. So an hydrocarbon refer to the compound that contains carbon and hydrogen on it. That is basically an hydrocarbon. Question B, name the Loma numeral 1 homologous series to which the above hydrocarbons belong. Loma numeral 2, compound with the molecular formula C subscript 4, H subscript 10. So if we look at these four compounds, these four compounds, they obey a general, generic formula C subscript N. H subscript 2N plus 2. That's the generic formula they obey. Now remember, when you're dealing with hydrocarbons, there are only two types of hydrocarbons. It's either they are alkanes or alkenes. So, alkenes, they've got this a generic formula. That's for alkenes this one then for alkanes is basically this one so if for example we pick the first one c is one if you put whatever there is c a one to be c one then here we put a one to be two times one which is two plus two four so we're going to have this compound which is the first one then when c is four we're going to put a basically c four then 4 times 2, which is 8, plus 2, 10. So we're going to have this uh, compound, which is basically the case of that one. So it's the same. So these basically, they belong to our cans. Then a uh, loma number 2, compound with molecular formula, this one, which is uh, C is 4. So C, since it's 4, is what to determine the name. So when C is 4, we know that it's but. Now whether it's butene or butan, it depends on whether it's alkanes or alkenes. So because it's alkanes, it becomes butan. If it was butene, it was going to be alkenes. We move to the next question. Question C. Draw the full structural formula of the hydrocarbon which has four carbon atoms. So four carbon atoms, remember from the generic formula that we just talked about. So it's C4, then 2 times 4, 8 plus 2, 10. So you see this one. So what we know is these are alkanes, they do not have double carbon bonds because they are saturated. So we are going to just put the C's across, so C, 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 so that they are formed. Then we are going to have CH, then H, 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 then H. So it's going to be like that. Once you do that, you are good to go. So make sure that you know that 
alkanes they do not have double bonds between carbons elements but in alkenes they are unsaturated hence they have double bond somewhere take note of that question d which of the given hydrocarbons has the highest boiling point so basically we've been given a four hydrocarbons which is this one the smallest then up to the biggest now the boiling point increases as the chain or the structure chain increases so the bigger the molecule becomes the stronger the molecular force ends the boiling point increases so the one that has got the highest boiling point is see the biggest in this case you see this one then the lowest boiling point is the smallest which is that one so basically you notice that it will be C10 then H22 it has the highest boiling point and this is uh, basically the case so this one if you are to name it is called D decan because from the word decay decayed means 10 because of this 10 so in this case it will have the IST boiling point so basically this is how you answer this question to get the five marks so please join me in the next episode as we start looking at section C which is one of uh, the key section that you need to get the 20 marks as free as possible so we are going to explain in detail on how you approach those questions so that we prepare you to ace that exam remember your success depends on extensive revision it is very key that you go through the past papers as much as possible cover the last five years which is the 10 exam past papers in that way you'll be comfortable before even you write your exam